Hello once again, friends of the culture. Max back here playing some golf story. Um, I hope you packed your heavy jackets and mittens because we are headed to the snowy mountainous area. I was going to say the name of the area, but I forgot. I'm sure it rolls off the tongue a little better than snowy mountain area, but uh, we'll see. I think the weather's cleared up a bit in the snowy regions. I feel as if my body is ready. <laughs> to handle the extreme temperatures of the snow. After that sauna, <laughs> yeah, we had a sauna with all of our um, our elderly friends earlier, so that was good stuff. Um, it doesn't look like the snow or the storm has subsided, but I guess we'll do it anyways. Cold wind wastes. So exciting. This is pretty much the last zone besides the, uh, the uh, Pro Tour course. So that's kind of exciting. Ooh, we got a, what are these called? Jet, it's not a jet ski, a snowdew, something like that. Hmm. I shouldn't, <laughs> dang it. I tried. Hello, a newcomer. In the worst part of the season too. If you're looking to play the course, you should head out now. The snowstorm is on its way. Won't bother us as, won't bother us so much as we're used to it but it would sure give you some trouble. Uh, I, I live in Colorado, so. I guess I should play the course now then. The pro shop's inside, go ahead. Okay, I guess we're just playing the course, but we can't uh, lose sight of our goal here. Our goal is to uh, find the old rule book from some old man who apparently took it down here. These guys are shivering hard. Mate, I don't even feel the cold. Don't affect me one bit. Oh, these guys are hard. You new here? I suggest you hunker down inside. <laughs> you won't be able to handle the coming snowstorm. Looks like you won't be able to either. It's so freezing here. And they tell me it's about to get worse. How can it get any worse than this? I can't imagine. Let's go see what's going on in the uh, pro shop. Looks like a ski lodge or something. Let's uh, see if I can get this stuff. Wow, that's expensive. The bladed irons are $848. I even did all the challenges at Tidy Park, so I've done pretty much every challenge available up to now. Snowshoes. Ooh. Should I just buy those right now? Yeah, let's just get that out of the way. Maybe that'll help us go faster in the snow. You after a round of golf? I suppose I am. I don't know where the old man is, but... The uh, round of golf was in my uh, notes now, so this is going to be required. Oh, wow, there's like ice. Oh, wow. wonder if I can bounce off that. All right, we are doing a shot for science here. Sorry if it goes in. It breaks the ice <laughs> and goes through. I hope it doesn't. Hey. Cool. I like this course so far. I like snow, too. So. Reminds me of home. All right, I overhit it a little bit, but that shouldn't be too much of a, de a big deal. What is this? This is a par four. Wow. So hopefully this will set me up um, with a good start. Um, the slope is not in our favor at all. Um, I might even try to curve it a little bit and see if that'll work. That'll work. Birdie. Birdie boys. I wish I could call myself a birdie boy, but I'm really not that good at this game, so I'm not going to try to claim that title. Ooh, that would be good. It bounces really good off that ice, so. I don't know what situation would, uh, maybe you just can't land on the ice. Maybe if you land on the ice, it falls through or something. Oh, wow. <laughs> We're literally hitting out of the snow. Wow, this probably isn't going to go very well. Um, yeah, I guess let's just try that. I didn't take the wind into account as much as I should have. Oh, wow. It hit the flag, at least. That could have been a lot worse. This will get us a par. Just hit as hard as I can. No. Okay. That was a little nerve-wracking. But we got it. Kept us negative one. Hmm. 
I wonder what the reasoning by, I mean, I know what the T's signify in real life, but I don't know why they added three T's for every hole in this game when you can't really choose. Like even in quick play mode, you can't choose. So I'm not sure what the reasoning for that is. Let's uh, try to hit, well, that might hit that tree if I do that. But it's a little risky, but let's do it. No trees, no trees. Mm, it didn't get on the fairway, but it's not in the snow, so I'll take it. All right. Um, why does it start on the digging wedge for this type of thing? Um, yeah, let's do that because I don't want to get stuck in that snow. Although it's probably just gonna roll past and go in the for the far snow. Ooh. Oh, oh, <clears throat> that would have been a good shot if it went in. But set me up for a birdie, so I can't complain. Thank you. I'll take the birdie. Hmm. This course doesn't seem too challenging. Whereas Bermuda Isles, I feel like Bermuda Isles was kind of like the pinnacle of challenge. If there is a pinnacle of challenge. Hmm. I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna uh, do that science experiment and land on the ice, cause that, would be sketchy. I'd rather just play it safe. I got in the snow, but that's okay. That was a 300 yard drive, so my power is getting good, I guess. What'll that do? Fairway, fairway. Oh, close, but it'll work. I still make it to the green. Oh, I didn't look at the wind at all for that one. It's not gonna go in, but we'll get close. This is a part five, so get me another birdie. Birdie change. Do this as hard as I can. Oh, I didn't take the slope into account. Ooh, that was very close. That slope almost took it from me. But I came out in the end victorious. Hmm, interesting. Really the only thing is the snow here. It's basically like Bermuda Isles where the whole place is sand. Except there's no, there's a lot less water hazards. Ooh, that should be a pretty good shot. Mm, not really, but not the worst. Like I said, the snow isn't really too much of a problem. Um, yeah, let's just go for this. Hopefully it doesn't land in any snow or roll into any snow. Both of those things. <laughs> you can't win them all. But maybe I'll get my uh, first chip in of the day. Probably not. Maybe to roll in though. Yay! Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. very close. But I'll get my par. No big deal. Slope is in our favor, so I won't hit it too hard. And I come out with the par. This course, like I said, not very hard so far. Hmm, interesting. So I might have to be forced to play for science this time. Um, let's bounce it off a little bit. I hope it doesn't bounce too hard, but maybe when I overhit it instead of under. Let's see. Yeah, that bounced too much. Oh! Ah, ha, 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 ha. Yes, I'm so happy. I, I was wondering if I would ever get a hole-in-one for this playthrough, and uh, there's the first hole-in-one on the hole that I was very afraid of. Awesome possum. You can congratulate me later. I appreciate all of the uh, appreciation. <laughs> okay, let's see if that'll bounce to the next fairway zone. Bounce. Yep, that's good. Didn't do exactly what I wanted it to do, but it's a pretty good shot. Oh, and it looks like there's a tree, like, right in my way. Hmm, what to do? Hmm. Yeah, you know, I think I'm going to try to hit it on the green instead of trying to, like, set myself up for a good chip, which pretty much... That's what ended up happening anyway, but that's probably the best um, chip spot I could have got, so can't complain. 
And then I'll take the wind a little more into account this time. Oh, crap. I double tapped when I wasn't supposed to double tap. <laughs> Let's see if I can chip it in for par. If not, not too big of a deal. I mean, look at that. I'm negative five, so I can get a one bogey. Oh, man. That was very close to a par. Oh, well. You win some, you lose some. I'm still negative four. I could get a bogey on the next three holes and be fine. <laughs> this looks like a par five or something. I wonder if this course will have a par six as well. I think the only par six that I've run into was at uh, Bermuda Isles. And that was a tough one. Wow, that was an awesome shot. What was that? Yeah, that was almost 300 yards. I'm steady getting these 300 yard drives. Pretty cool. And this isn't a very good spot to be in. But let's just try to hit it, see if it'll bounce off that pole. Because I, I, either way, it's gonna roll to the other side, so it's like, why not try <laughs> to hit the pole? Hey, I hit the pole. <laughs> cool. Let's see if I can chip it in from here. Yeah, cool. That was a par five too, so that was an eagle. Awesome. Jeez, this is gonna be my best score if I keep going at this rate. I think my best score was, uh, well I got, my last two episodes I've gotten a, uh, a negative five on the Oak Manor course and then a negative five on the Tidy Park course, so I've been doing pretty well. Which is good, I thought I sucked at this game, but I guess I don't suck that bad. <laughs> I mean, I'm not in front of any trees or anything, so not a bad shot. Oh, I'm actually very close to the green right now. Um, try to hit a little on the top so it'll roll a little better. Let's see if that will work. Oh, I didn't hit as hard as I should have. Roll, roll, roll! Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. very close, just slightly to the right. Oh well, I'll still get a birdie. Am I just doing really good or is this just a really easy course? That's my question. I'm almost doing too good. Oh wow, that was the end. <laughs> Negative seven, that is definitely high score. And I got my first hole in one, so that was awesome. Very happy with, with how that play went. Let's go see what he's got to say now. Greetings. <laughs> Hello again. How long have you been standing out here? I'm f f f f fine. The c cold doesn't bother me so much anymore. However, my friends are feeling a little bothered. Why don't they go inside? They're using a classic frost resistance technique. They've withdrawn into their own minds. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's actually how you die. We'll need to bring them some cocoa to thaw them out a bit. All of the ingredients are inside. Can you sort it out? Sure, can you come in and show me where everything is? <laughs> oh, no. I've withdrawn into my own mind. The key to the top floor is in my pocket. What a weirdo. These people are the least funny in my opinion so far. Yeah, each, each place, though, has had a pretty funny set of uh, characters, I think. Oh, where's the cocoa? No cups in here. I really can't be trusted with one of these. <laughs> Plenty of milk in here. Oh, there's the milk. Where's the cups? Okay, found the cocoa powder, but I have nothing to put it in. The one kitchen appliance I've got them proficiency with. <laughs> um, where are the cups though? Cup? Okay, I think the cup. Is this a cup? It's a cup! Oh, and there's, oh, there's like several cups on the ground. I see them. It's a cup. I only need three for three of the people, so. Okay, cocoa powder. I found the cocoa. Okay, let's just add a little cocoa to this cup. Do I have to do one at a time? Cold cocoa, added the milk. Now, time to warm the cocoa up. 
Yes. Yes. I'm gonna take a sip of my coffee. Alright, do I have to do that three times? Let's look at my items. Oh my goodness. I do have to do that two times. I'm not even lying. Guys, sometimes this game makes me upset, but I still love it. The charm is real. The charm is very real. Time to warm the cocoa up. This will just give me a few chances to take sips of my coffee. Mm hmm. One more. Come on. Hi. Okay, there we go. I found the cocoa. Cocoa in progress. Cold cocoa. Time to warm the cocoa up. And time to take a sip of coffee. Oh yeah. Dunka Donuts. You're the truth. Hot cocoa. Let's go give it to our friends outside. Hi friends, you look a little cold. I'm not even cold. Here, drink this. Oi! I didn't ask to be saved, mate. Sorry, but you seemed a bit cold. Not cold. Okay, I believe you, you weren't cold. <laughs> Coco, here you are. Thank you so much. Did you heat this in the microwave? Yep. Oh. Do you have any other cocoa? This isn't the time to be picky. You're gonna freeze over. You're right. Well, this one has some sense at least. I'll make myself a real one once I get inside. Oh, she's, she's like really in her beliefs that cold cocoa is better. Thanks. I feel a lot better, but somehow worse. <laughs> warmth, please bring warmth. Here, drink this. Thank you. You look warmer now. It may appear that way, but the cold in this place cuts right to the core. I only came here to visit my brother, but it turns out he's a snow bandit now and was inviting me to their hideout. I guess we kind of drifted apart on the morality spectrum. Ah, so there's snow bandits. Everybody's safe now. Don't let me keep you any longer. I actually came here looking for an old book. It contains golf tra- an old golf book? Can you describe it? It's old? <laughs> There's nothing else like it. It's incredibly valuable. Incredibly valuable? Sorry, never heard of it. One of the others might know something, but, well, they're even worse off than the first lot. <laughs> These people are literally frozen. <laughs> That's funny. Kind of. Like I said, this definitely isn't the funniest of places. But still, uh, probably better than Tidy Park. Well, I don't know. The old people are pretty funny. I'm gonna need a lot of cocoa. They might be beyond cocoa at this point. These people have gone into a deep freeze. Shouldn't have skipped their frost resistance training. It may still be possible to save them. We used to have a special golf ball for breaking deep for breaking deep freeze, but the snow bandits ended up stealing all of them. Now we just use driving range seconds. If you're really serious, maybe you could track down their camp. If you manage to find out where it is, I'll let you take my snow snowmobile there. Ooh, I get to ride the snowmobile? The specific ball that we need is rare, and it's hard to tell it apart from the others. So bring me 900 balls from their base. One of them is bound to be the right one. Um, so we need to find them and then he'll let us use the snowmobile to get there once we find it? But what would be the point in going back to get the snowmobile once we're already there? I don't know. Find somebody who knows the way to the snow bandit base. Okay, so we probably just gotta do all the challenges here. That is usually how this game goes. But let's talk to everyone just in case. I love building snowmen. Something about them just warms my heart. As long as there are snowmen, I never feel sad. 
Wow, it was heartwarming. Sealed tightly. Ooh, stealing Christmas presents. Dun 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 dun. I'm the Grinch. Coming for your presents. Dang it, we can't even steal any of the presents. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll save you. I'll save you in a little bit. Jeez, is that a hole? This ice is quite the ice is quite high here, he said. Look at me skating on the ice. You go extra fast on the ice. Oh, but you don't slide. Would have been cool if they had the little like uh, slide physics. But I'm not too picky. I just gotta find some friends here. I don't know where everyone is. Spark. Oh, I can spark it with my lightning. <laughs> I hate these. Ah! <laughs> Jeez, Lulu. All for nothing. Oh, I can tee up and then, like... Oh. Maybe I'll have to do that once I get the balls. Like, they light on fire. The special balls light on fire or something. But I'll ignite some of these now. I hope they don't go out. I don't have to do this stupid minigame crap later. Cool. Oh, there's our bearded friend. He probably knows something. Hi. Good to see ya. I haven't frozen over. It's a wee bit cold, nay? Just a wee bit. My anvil could nay withstand the heat. Do you mind lighting it up for me? Okay. I don't like it, but I'll, I'll do it. Cool. I see you're liking that new club I gave ya. I'm working on, me, on some new wee wedges. I'll give you a hit of them if you bring me some ore. You shouldn't have any problems finding the rocks. It's a right pretty rock it is. Just keep bashing it with your clubs and you should yield. Right. And I get to keep the clubs, right? I'm making a big batch, so I may give you some. Okay, I guess we're finding rocks. Is this a rock that I need? It kind of shines. But I don't think that's what we need. Oh, and there's another area over here. Mm -hmm. A closed off area over here. But now we know that there is a frozen person over here. So I don't have to wander around for an hour and look for that person later. Cool. Alright, let's find these rocks. Mm hmm. <laughs> I see no rocks that I can chip away at. Is it these? No, it's just snow. Oh, mm -hmm. candy canes. Nope. Dang, we went from the Halloween to the Christmas theme real, real quick. It hasn't even been Halloween yet. Okay, where are these freaking rocks? Five frosty ores. Oh man, frosty ores, come on, where the, f oh, there's, that looks like, yeah, that's what I need. God, I hate these. Like, the digging one's kind of fun, because it switches up a little bit, but that one's just stupid. Stupid stuff. There's another one. Hidden amongst the trees. I'm totally cutting this part out, by the way. Well, maybe I won't because maybe some person will be watching this to find where the locations are. I know I've done that before. Like, where is something? I'm just gonna watch a video. There's another one. This wasn't paying enough attention before. Gosh darn it. I see ore. Not any other ones in here, sadly. I have been looking for the ore for quite a bit of time. 
I don't think that it is possible for me to get that right now. So we're just going to focus on our main goal. Find somebody who knows the way to the Snow Bandit base. You have to run a golf? No, I am not. Warmer yet? Somewhat. But I think I'll keep myself confined to the indoors as much as possible. Don't want to get cold again. Have you been to visit your brother at the bandit camp? No, I don't think I will. I don't have the heart. Can you tell me how to get there? Okay. Okay, that was easy. So it's like this. Well, that was easy enough. Okay, these those directions should, you, should see you through to the hideout. Make sure to report your findings back to me. And do be careful with the snowmobile. Okay, do my best. Do I actually get to drive it? No. My bet is I crashed it into something. Nope. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> Are you serious with me? <laughs> this is like some Zelda style stealth thing, but the Pac Man as well. Oh, these are the balls. I think. I need to collect 900 of them. Wow, that's funny. Oop, I need a key. No, there's no counter for how many balls I'm getting. This is kind of a cool mini game, I guess. Cooler than the other mini games. Although, I, I feel like a, a lot of points I'm like going too fast and I'm gonna run into one of them. <laughs> and then I probably have to start all the way over, which would be obnoxious as heck. <laughs> oh, I feel like I've collected quite a few balls at this point. The game doesn't think so, though. Oh, I can't find any chests or anything. Maybe I need to go over here to the west. We got the chests out in the west. Okay, yeah, there's a chest I can get to. No, maybe not. We'll see. Maybe this one's kind of risky. But I made it. <laughs> Alright, let's go get that chest. balls while we're at it. Key? Bandit key. wonder if this will open any of the gates or just one of them specifically. Let's go find out. Um, that doesn't look like a very good gate to open if I was going to open any of them. What the heck? Are you serious with me? I better not have to start over. I don't, so that's good. Um, yeah, none of these gates really lead to anything good. Might as well get these balls. Oh, and there I can get another key as well. Another bandit key. I don't know how many balls I have. Did it tell me in here? Yeah, I got 511. Jeez, I'm not even close to being done. I mean, I'm kind of close, I guess. Looks like there's quite a few in here. Ooh, that was so close. <laughs> um, let's say screw it to those 12 balls right there. Might not even have to open any gates to really do it. Oh, this is where I got caught before. Oh no! Hey! 
said, hey. Um, uh, you gonna follow me? No? Good. I guess the gates don't really lead to anything, they just get you a few extra balls. I guess I'll choose this one. I suppose I could have used it to get to more chests, but... Sometimes you don't think about things before you do them. Actually, for, in my case, it's most times. <laughs> yeah, that would have been a good one to get. Oh, well. I want to get over and get those two chests, but here's another chest. If I could go up. Up that way. I keep getting caught over here, that's why I haven't made my way over to those two chests yet. In all honesty. Oh, go quick. Sweet. Ooh, go quick. Ooh, go quick. <laughs> Sweet, I found the two chests. Do I have to make it to the man? The main bandit? I feel like this isn't like the extent of the bandit hideout. They can't just hang out in a maze all day. How do I get to the back of the place? Back of the club. This looks like it. This looks like the proper way. I, I would imagine that the bandits would have stolen the old book of golf or whatever I'm looking for, so... Is that all of them? It made like a little noise. No, it's very close. Is that all of them? No, it's very, very close. Grab another key while I'm here. I don't think there is a like main section or like a bandit boss that I encounter or anything. You just kind of hang out in their maze. Not an awful hangout spot, I suppose. <laughs> if you like being confused all the time. That's gotta be all of them. Yeah, that is all of them. At least 900 should do the trick. And I've even got keys to spare, and he'll transport me back. And I can get the eck out of here. Let's go. And we out. Hey, here are the balls. Wow! You actually did it! The pro shop will be stocked for months. I'd better sort through them. Here you go. There were a few in there. Fireballs. Looks like a regular ball. Yes, but it holds heat like nothing else. Douse it with fire and you'll be able to release people from deep freeze. Maybe one of them will know about that book thing. Woo hoo hoo. Or maybe not. That's fine too. It's not fine. Um, so there is this one over here. I think that this is the last ore we need. So let's get... Uh, Let's get that taken care of real quick. Let me just do my spin a thing. Get my digging wedge out. And let's hit hit that piece of ice with a hot ball. Hot ball. Ooh, dang it. Dang it, I went the wrong way again. Oh, that wind. That's The wind got me. The wind always gets me. I never pay attention enough. Come on. Are you serious with me? Okay. No. Okay, I'm going to aim up this time. No, it didn't let me. Oh, well. Oh, well. Come on. Just hit the ice. I'm gonna way over account for the win because I guess that's what I need to do. Oh my goodness. Why can't I start the other way? I'm gonna hit a little bit, but that should be good. Yay! 
I finally did something right. 3424. So that wasn't the ore, but I have a feeling the ore will be in something like that where it's not a person, but it's uh, still a frozen block. Let's try to underhit it a little bit. Perfect? No, not at all, actually. Quite the opposite, actually. Yeah. I don't know if it can bounce into it. I doubt it. Well, it's snow, so it won't bounce anyways. Hey, what will you give me? Hey. What happened? You were in a deep freeze because you didn't wear uh, sleeves. I didn't ask for your help. No. Maybe you can help me, though. I'm looking for an old golfing book. I came here to train. I don't have time to help you cheat your way onto the pro tour. So you know about the book. I'm a pro. I'm well versed in golf's history. If you want to talk further, impress me. Oh, so we actually found the guy already. I know a shot called the hot potato. Sorry, what? The hot potato. It's where you throw the ball up and I know what it is. Forget it. I'll provide you with the task. It's very hard to stop the ball in this ice. So you need to work with it. Let's see how you go. Let's see how we grow. Okay. Oh wow, that's very hard to stop. So I just need to hit it as light as possible. You still got four hits. Mm, not that light. Probably have to hit it like at the extent of my uh, short shot. No, even a little more than that. Dang it, I hate, it should just like stop the challenge. Since I screwed it up already. Oh dang, this one's further. Not a bad thing, I guess. <laughs> That'll probably go too far. Oh dang, no, it went even further for the last one. Well dang. Wah, wah, wah. Fine, I'll give you another chance. Okay. It's very hard to stop the ball on this ice, so you need to work with it. Let's see how you go. Let's see how I go. Oh man, I'm gonna need to hit this one like not at all. Stop, stop. Good boy, good boy. Stop. Mmm, lame sauce. Oh well. Still got three hits. No oh, man, that might not be hard enough. Go, 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 Oh well, I still got two shots. Not a big deal, not a big deal. That might be too hard. No, that looks actually pretty perfect. <gasps> oh, 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 that had my heart going. Ooh, now stop, now stop, now stop. Now stop. Yay, 3-3. Three, three. What you gotta say about that, Tiger? What did you think? You swing the club like a 20 handicapper, but your control is almost professional. Fine, I'll give you a chance. There's three secret holes around here. Hit a ball into each of them, and I'll give you some pro advice. I don't want pro advice, I want the freaking golf book so I can play on the pro tour. I'm probably better than you, I could probably beat you. All I need is that stupid book so I can be your equal and then drive your face into the ground. Anyways, um, let's uh, try to break this block of ice. That looks like another one where there could be an ore. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, that, that's a secret hole, cool. I was hoping that the secret hole wasn't that, uh, that like ice hole, cause that ice hole really makes me upset. I tried it like a million times. I'm not gonna put it in the video, but I tried that ice hole like a million times. Cause I thought where the, that's where the ore was. And it still might be, I guess, but <laughs> who knows. 
Uh, hopefully that doesn't go in the snow. I overhit a little bit, which should help me out. Not help me out that far though. Let's try to let's try to slam dunk it. Oh man. Oh no. Should have moved back a little bit. Come on. I suck at this game. Let's try getting it from up here. Gosh darn it. Cool. Good secret hole. Well, that looks like it could be another secret hole. Or the ore. Either or, I will be happy. Give me one though. Do not jip me. What you got? Or Ooh, now we get to do this really fun mini game. Wow, that was absolutely exhilarating. My goodness. Okay, let's hit this girl down here. And that looks like another secret hole down there. Whoops. Oh, I don't think that's gonna cut it, but let's see. Yeah, it will. Can't do any chipping with that block of ice there. <laughs> She's just still thinking about chipping. Um, yeah, I'm stuck in her body. Well, I might have to restart the game yet again. Okay, yeah, um, I'm gonna have to restart the game. <laughs> I'm stuck in her body. This game has several game breaking, game breaking glitches. Kind of disappointing, but I am actually gonna have to end the episode right now. I am a little over an hour and a half and I'll edit some out so it won't be an hour or whatever but um anyways thank you guys so much for watching um, I'm almost done with this game next episode should finish this one up and then really we're on the pro tour from that so I hope you enjoy my let's play any commentary I might have on this I enjoy playing it a lot and I enjoy filming it so this has been Max from Max Culture Thank you so much for watching.